Welcome to a tour of our Auto Cruise Vista. How it works and what she looks like. Hope you enjoy. Um, two lightweights. Collar valve, uh, ordinary collar propane valve here. And we just simply swap it over. Now we have the water heater cover. Now the water heater will not work if this is on. So you need to take that off when you get onto site. I will store it in there and then you don't forget and that simply locks and you don't forget to put it back on there when you turn your gas off to go home. The, uh, the toilet and then I put the key in my pocket. Uh, we have the toilet. This is your flush. Uh, in here you put the, uh, the pink flush water and then you top it up with fresh water you can either use a hose pipe or a watering can to do that and then the cassette slides out and uh, you empty this in a normal manner empties through here you have your air release valve here always make sure your toilet's closed on the inside because you don't want this is the this is the one that opens so you don't want that open when you try to pull it out so have it shut from the inside and uh, when you've washed that out you put uh, the blue in I use a cap pull with two litres of water and that keeps all the smells down and makes the toilet smell nice. There's a indicator here, water level of how much you've got left in the flush. I always keep it fully charged, never let it run down. So that's the toilet. So uh, now we have the garage. So this is a massive, massive storage area. We have uh, leveling ramps have a spare wheel, electric lead, trolley to carry the toilet to the SLM point if it's far away, the jack, barbecue, toilet facilities, all of that, uh, there's tents in there, there's a canopy, windbreak, everything, massive, massive area. Now this bucket, when I'm on site, and I don't want to move the van over to a waste point and it's down here so down here I have my waste pipe it's, it's itched up with pipe, uh, clips and it has a tap on the end now on site you can just drain this down the grid or if you don't want to move your van you can simply empty into a bucket just to release uh, some of the amount that you're carrying in your tank and then you can walk that off to the nearest drain and save moving your van on site when you're finished it simply hitches back up into the two clips there's job done uh, when you arrive on site we need power on in the van, that says the van, this is the battery under the bonnet which starts the engine, this is the leisure battery for the van, and the pump, we need to pump on. This switch allows you to see how much water you've got on board, which is quite full at the minute, I always carry full tank, and the battery power of the leisure battery, which is quite full at the moment. Okay, so the electrical power is onto the van up there so we come down to turn the, the gas on on, on the fridge uh, the gas is this one so we turn it round to, to the big big one I always have it on the big one I don't bother with little ones turn the ignition on push this in yeah, I don't know if you heard the gas lit but it did and the ignition has now stopped igniting now 
you leave just hold your finger on for a few seconds and then that's now the gas lit we know the gas is lit because the ignition is no longer flashing and when the gas is lit there's the pilot light down in that hole right at the back of the fridge now, when we're on site we have if you want to go on to that locks it uh, that's the electric on site and that's the control on site and here's your 12 volt for when you're on the road and it does work because I put a thermometer in the ice box and gone for a drive and then tested it and it's been down to zero right hot water on site uh, this is the gas version this at the minute is set at 55 centigrade it goes 60 65 70 so it's really hot water if you want it really hot I like it around 55 it does the dishes nicely and you can wash nicely with a drop of cold in it now you simply turn that on we have a green light now if it goes to red there's a fault and if you've forgotten to take your gas water heater cover off like I showed you on the gas locker it will also go to fault because this will not run if that cover is on now it stays green which means the water is now getting hot the same applies to the heating we have a small flame and a large flame obviously the small flame gives less heat out than the large flame we have a blower which is called air fan we have an off position and we have a, a, a gas light so we go to gas and the fan is now blowing I can hear it you probably cannot so we have the, the fan blowing through the, the air ducts again if this goes to red there's a gas fault or the gas is not lit in which case you turn it off wait 10 20 seconds and start again but as it happens it's staying green so the gas is now running and it's running on on a higher power than the lower power now to turn it off you simply go to the off position and that's off uh, the hot air duct is we have one here you come round to the cab I've made a bit of a bottle bank here but there is one down in there which blows into the cab there is a second one along here uh, the third air duct is in the bathroom now whilst we're in the bathroom I can show you what we have we have uh, two cupboards with the glass panelling this button in the centre here separates the two and you can open up to reveal your business you have a little shelf you have a, a drop down water sink you have hot water runs this side Center is a mixer tap. This side is cold. Same, this one here over here is for the shower, which is up here. And that again runs quite busy. I'm going to show you. I'm going to bring it down a little bit, obviously. Uh, how am I going to do this? Right, I'm going to come round to here, turn the tap on. And that again, as you see, running quite, quite busy. And the water just drains down the back. Now when you've got a full basin, just tip it gently. Just so it all goes down the back and doesn't come out. It will, it will come out of here if you do it fast. Now the toilet, obviously Thetford with the, with the lid. Now here we have the electric flush with the paint water you put into your outside tank like I showed you and to open it we turn this one notch opens the hole slightly a full turn opens the hatch completely so 12 volt cigarette lighter I run a, a 500 watt inverter I use that basically for shaving I, I use electric razor in the morning I have my phone charger which also goes and with this one this one runs the TV through 12 volts but it also runs my iPod docking station 
through 12 volt. That's the same end, both the TV and the docking station. And then I also have a multiple USB which goes into the end of this cigarette lighter uh, to do multiple charging and all that comes through the leisure battery through the 12 volt. We have a cupboard that we keep bits and pieces in that is below the control panel. The kitchen unit is a has a cover for making a, an extended work surface. Uh, we have a mixer tap, hot and cold, mixer in the middle. This uh, board clips back nicely there and uh, gives us a drainer. The water, as long as the water pump is on, is quite full. Uh, we have the gas hob. Now when I arrive on site, I turn the gas on. The first thing I do is I come indoors and I light the gas. The reason I do that is I have a physical, visual check that the gas is coming through. So when I go for the fridge and for the water heater, that's something you can't always see, so you, but you know your gas is on, on first. See the gas, then you know it's going to be going through to your fridge and through to your water heater. Now we have a grill, we come down and we have an oven and again this is a ignition ignition fires up lovely stuff and we do major cooking with this we do the black outline comes across clips into the other blind which is the fly screen to release you can do that the fly screen is a pull across and that goes back uh, the hatch opens right up massive amount of air coming in both the seats turn and face inward so when you're this way around you have masses of room this one has the TV aerial in it um, we're on the, the electric one up there and it goes different colours and when it's a green one it's red and yellow and when it's green you have a good signal it raises and it's got the little handle on the bottom to turn it vertical or horizontal I keep the TV in this one uh, it stands behind this cushion I keep towels and uh, the TV is stored in this end cupboard. Lighting in the vehicle, two center lights. We have one uh, above the settee and we have one above the kitchen unit. The very end one here can be operated from above or can be operated just here when you come in and out of the door. The other ones is the outside canopy light and this light is down here for the step. The outside light it can be operated from here can be left on all the time from that switch but as long as the electrics aren't indoors this light has a sensor mo movement on it so it comes on each time somebody walks past the back of the van or goes in and out of the van uh, uh, on the back door we have a fly screen this comes and closes and this retaining panel locks it in so now we have a fly screen full length of the toilet emptying point, electric hookup, fresh water, gas vent for central heating, gas vent 
for hot water, gas locker. And there's the vehicle. Conventional cutlery drawer. And under sink storage, a room under there. The under the sink cupboards. Okay. Um, keep, keep the kettle out. We have a lever underneath. And once it's clipped, we can now pull the bed out. Now, we have a blanket and we have the back of the gas locker. On the next one, we have the hot water unit and the, the ducting for the heating and all the pipe work where we can now drain from that valve there we can drain the onboard water tank from the valve that side we can drain the hot water tank to so making the bed the cushions goes in there and under the next one we have the onboard water tank a central heating unit and we have some storage in this one with some fuses so that drops down to make the bed we have a, a flat bit lifts now the next one that gives us a view of the bed yeah we sleep with our heads at that end because it's nice and roomy nice and spacious you don't feel trapped in bed looks and you've got a walk through uh, you know you don't you have to climb over anything you can walk from the toilet room to the front of the van uh, sometimes Jan stays in bed in the morning I get out and make a, a, a cup of coffee and I sit, and I sit in the front seats here looking out the front window at whatever's going on on the campsite uh, you can still gain access to the fridge I've got an actual walk through. Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, the lounge area is very, very comfortable. We have a loose cushion here. Very nice armrest. Uh, when you're having a coffee or a beer, you can use the extension for the bed, you can use it as a table. And when you're on site, out of the back door here, we have the canopy and the windshield. Here's a couple of pictures of that. In the wardrobe, we have our hanging clothes. Uh, we have the, the freestanding table, which comes into the van at meal times or goes outside I also store for traveling two outdoor seats and a small outdoor table the curtains covering the cab they go all the way around oh and it it really does on an evening with the amount of space that those captain seats afford you with the L-shaped lounge the amount of floor space we have from sofa to kitchen it really is a very comfortable van I hope you've enjoyed our tour how, how it works and what it looks like bye bye